disappointed only after playing so well not to get the win. Yeah, it's. Uh, I'm disappointed on behalf of the players because I thought the effort they put in um, and the fans, of course, because they uh, deserved more than uh, the one point, I felt. And when it's towards the end of the game, it, it feels worse as well. Yeah, they put us under pressure towards the end, and uh, but I didn't feel that they, they created too many chances and uh, the, we soaked the pressure up really well. One lack, uh, lack of concentration and it's, uh, it's a goal and that's the level we're at. Said that you only defended and that they tried to make the game. Do you think that's a fair assessment? Or? Uh, we uh, set the team up to, uh, to attack and be aggressive and create chances, and I, I thought um, we did that. There's loads of different uh, reasons for a, a team performance, but today. We were more direct. I thought Dan, uh, Marcus, Andreas, the three uh, frontmen, if you like, caused them problems, both on and off the ball. I thought they were, the energy they had, excellent. So um, just that's just how it is at times in football. The, you play against someone and uh, you are uh, dependent on the, uh, on the opposition. I felt we did well, well enough for them to change the system. And that's... That's a pat on the back for the boys, but then uh, they put us on the back foot second half. Well, is it just a fact at the moment that the way your team is set up and the players you've got, you, you are more effective on the counter-attack? Uh, it depends on what you call a counter-attack. We're better when we attack quickly. No dilly-dallying on the ball. Uh, play the ball forward it doesn't have to be a counter-attack, but that you be more direct and you more, as I spoke about it before the game, take more risks, be braver. It doesn't matter if you miss, lose the ball up there because uh, you, you can win it back. That's how, more or less Liverpool, you know the Champions League final, hook in behind after 40 seconds to get a penalty and win it. It's playing the, the right type of football and uh, being more direct helped us. Oli, when you... When you make it so difficult for a side that for the runaway leaves at the top of the table, yeah. do you think that gives a true reflection of where you think United should be? Uh, results always um, uh, uh, reflect the performances in the end. <laughs> I, I've said it many times that I feel that we we haven't got the results that we uh, have deserved. But it doesn't help me talking about it. We need to go out there and win games. One point today was a start of something, but we're still, we're still disappointed that we didn't get, get three. We're not excited because we got one point off a good team. It's, um, we need to start winning games. Well, then, seven points, you've dropped down from winning positions in the league. Yeah. It's, how do you go about kicking that habit now? Getting the second goal. Today I felt just before they scored we had uh, two or three great uh, opportunities to counter-attack. Um, but we, we, yeah, we soaked up the pressure well second half until they scored, but we didn't keep the ball and create enough ourselves. So that's the next level as well for these boys. Uh, but I'm dead pleased with them. I thought they got the crowd going, crowd got them going, and it was a proper game of football, which I thought and it's not very often I've said it out there as well to the press that we can praise the referees, but I thought he played it as a game should be. It's not like a, he played it like a derby. He knew uh, he let things go, and I think that passion uh, on the pitch uh, that he let allowed to go went to the stands as well. So that, that, I thought it was a foul in the runner. No chance. No. no. What, it's not basketball. We, we're not playing basketball. Well, you think he just died? No, he touched him, uh, but it's not enough to uh, to give. A, it's not the clear and obvious error. I, I don't think it's a foul. Oli, just on just on Dan James, I think he only made his sort of senior impression debut about twenty months ago. Yeah. To to go out and sort of perform like that, and you know, with the, with the pressure that you were facing against the Premier yeah. League, how? What does that say about him, really? The boy's got a great attitude. It's no fear. He's brave. He gets kicked, gets up again, gets kicked, gets up again. And he, he must be a nightmare to play against when, he's, uh, when he gets this uh, type of uh, space. And uh, the boy has been a delight to work with. And um, I thought him and Marcus played really well today. Well, you 
you said that for Newcastle, you might think about changing the system, but what did today? Is yeah. this a bespoke thing for Liverpool, or can you see us actually develop it into something? I can develop to uh, to something because we've got players uh, to play three at the back, uh, and it allows uh, our f uh, more width in the team that w w what we've had. Of course, it's a risk taken when you play three at the back against their front three, which is a it's a great front three to be to be to be fair to them, but it's a risk we had to take because we we need we did it to create chances ourselves. We did because I thought Marcus Dan, you know, the goal was just a per perfect example on how we wanted the game to pan out. Marcus had a really good game, it seemed like. Best game he's played for uh, for ages and maybe in his ten months with me. I thought he runs off the shoulder of the defenders. He chases. He defends well. He's uh, he, he got hold of the ball. Um, there was a nice little race between him and Van Dijk down in the corner, and you can see the boy is growing and then getting stronger. Did you tell the players beforehand how important it was not to lose to No. To let them carry on? No. I told them how important it is to win against them. Is it still that start, something start to turn around? Uh, I'm disappointed that, we don't, can't, uh, that I can't sit here and uh, talk about the win. Uh, cause, but of course the performance is very positive and I think that they they were so disappointed in in the dressing room, and I'm sure they'll go back tonight and think we're disappointed. When, but we played against a very good team, and we've uh, we've just got to kick on. And How's Axel and Ollie? Will you get any more players back perhaps next week? I don't know how Axel is, but uh, yeah, hopefully uh, both um, Jesse is soon back. Of course, um, Anthony will be able to play more. Uh, we're going to have a test on Paul tomorrow and see how he, he's at and uh, how long it will be before he's he's back. Uh, Luke, not not too long, so it, it's looking brighter and uh, that's a big plus as well. Uh, I don't know. He's uh, he's played on uh, with a little problem and we decided that he couldn't play on anymore uh, with that. So I don't know how long it'll be. Uh, quicker than I thought, uh, but that's, uh, you know, if I didn't speak to him before I spoke to you last time and of course I was worried when I, uh, when I saw him sit on the, uh, on the pitch on uh, Wednesday night, was it? Was it Wednesday or Tuesday? Tuesday? Tuesday. He had two nights, he had two days off, Wednesday, Thursday, and then I spoke to you Friday before the game, before uh, the pr uh, we had training, so I couldn't, I didn't know. Okay, thank you. Cheers. He, he played well, though. Yeah.